Hello, and welcome to this quick overview of using iCloud with Notion for iOS. We'll look at how to turn iCloud on and off, what happens to scores that have been changed on other devices, and how to access iCloud on Mac and Windows. Notion is now available as a universal app for iPad and iPhone. We'll use the iPad for the purposes of this video. When you first open Notion, you'll be asked whether you wish to use iCloud. If you select No, your scores will be saved on the device. You can still export to Dropbox, email or save to iTunes via a computer. You don't need to use iCloud if you don't wish. You can decide to use iCloud later by going to the device settings. Tap here for Notion to ask you again, or here to turn iCloud directly on or off. When you go back to Notion, scores from iCloud will now load. If you've been making changes whilst offline or editing the same score on different devices, you may have accidentally made some different versions or conflicts. Notion will ask you which version of the score you want to keep. You can always keep them all if you're not sure. Once you are in a score, Notion for iOS auto-saves your progress and automatically syncs with iCloud. This synchronization is instantaneous and makes for a really powerful workflow from your iOS devices to working with Notion Desktop on Mac or Windows. Here's a new score being created on iPad and syncing straight away with iCloud Drive on Windows. You will see iCloud Drive as a normal folder within Windows Explorer. This file can now be opened directly with Notion 5 on Windows. And in the other direction, here's a score being saved as in Notion 5 for Windows into iCloud Drive. It updates straight away in iPad. For Mac, make sure you have iCloud enabled and you have signed in with the same Apple ID as your device. On Windows, download iCloud Drive and again sign in with the same Apple ID. That's a quick overview of using iCloud with Notion for iOS. For more videos, check out our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.